Hello everyone. So again welcome back to the lecture number 26 and in this lecture we are again continuing the exercise number 8.1. Okay, so let's start with the first question of this session that is question number 6. So according to the question number 6 it is given that the diagonal AC of a parallelogram ABCD bisect A. Okay, so let us first draw a parallelogram ABCD. Okay, so let's say this is a parallelogram A, B, C and D. And in this parallelogram, it is given that the diagonal AC, okay, let us draw the diagonal AC. This is the diagonal AC, right? This diagonal AC bisect the angle A, okay? So this diagonal bisect which angle? This angle, this angle. That means this half is equal to this half. Right? It is given here. So, you can write it first. Given that ABCD is a what? ABCD is a parallelogram. So, we can write that their pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. So, AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. Okay? And AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD. As well as they are also parallel. So, AD parallel to BC and AB parallel to CD. As well as it is given that AC diagonal is uh, bisecting the angle A. So, AC bisects angle A. It means this half BAC is equal to BAC. Okay, then from the following data, we have to prove the two statements. The first statement is, it bisects C. It means the diagonal which bisects A also bisects C. We have to prove. That means, SC is also the angle bisector of this angle. Right, we have to prove this. And the second statement is, ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. Rhombus means if we can show that all the sides of this parallelogram are equal, then we can say yes, it is a rhombus. Okay, so let us prove the first statement that it bisects the angle C also. Okay, so let us start. Since it is already given that AC is the angle bisector of angle A, it means this half is equal to this half. So you can write DAC angle is equal to which angle is equal to BAC angle okay BAC angle uh, this is let's say equation number one right now <coughs> consider AD line and BC line we know that AD and BC are two parallel lines yes or no yes the two are parallel line if AC is the transversal line okay then this angle this angle DAC and this angle are known as which type of angle? They are known as alternate interior angles. Okay? This angle and this angle. And you know if there are two parallel lines and a transversal line then the pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So we can write that this angle DAC is equal to this angle. Yes or no? Yes. So BAC is equal to BCA. Right? So we can write implies a DAC is equal to BCA, BCA. Why? Because they are alternate interior. Let's say this is equation number 2. Okay? Next, if we consider AB side and DC side, these two sides are also parallel since it is a parallelogram. Okay? And AC is a transversal line. FB, DC are two parallel lines, and AC is a transversal line. Then this angle, this angle, okay, and this angle are known as which type of angle? These two angles are known as alternate interior angles. Since these two lines are parallel with the transversal line, then these two alternate interior angles must be equal. That means this angle must be equal to this angle. Isn't it? Yes. 
you can write angle BAC is equal to angle DCA. So you can write that angle BAC is equal to BAC is equal to angle DCA is equal to angle DCA. Why? Because they are also alternate interior. Clear? Let's say this is our equation number 3. So, now we have found three equations here. Now we have to uh, analyze all the three equations and get a conclusion from it. Right? So, from equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. From equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. Okay? We know or we have analyzed the DSC from equation 1. What we have found? We have found the DSC right, is equal to what? Is equal to BSC. In equation 2 we found that DSC is equal to BCA. So we can write DSC here we can write is equal to BCA. Because we have found it from equation 2. Again in equation 3 we have found BSC is equal to DCA. Right. So uh, BSC means this one. BSC is equal to is equal to D C A. Is it clear? So what we have found? We have found D S is equal to B S C. Right? B S is equal to D C A. D S is equal to B S C. B S is equal to D C A. Again, D S is equal to B C A. D S is equal to B C A. It means all those four angles are of equal measures. So this angle is equal to this angle. It is already given, and now we have found. That this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle, all the four angles are equal. Here we have found. Okay, so now we can write that this angle means BCA, which angle? This angle. So we can write, hence BCA is equal to this one. Yes or no? See? See the symbol between them? Yes? So we can write BCA is equal to DCA. So now we have found that this half is equal to this half. It means what? It means this line AC bisect the angle C. Okay. So we can draw and uh, we can write now that AC bisect bisects hands AC bisects which angle? This angle C into two equal half this half and this half. Bisect the angle C. Okay. Do you understand it? We have to also prove that that AC diagonal bisects C and here we have proved it. And it is now proved. Understood? So here already it is given that AC bisect this angle. And we have proved that AC bisect C also. Okay. So now let us prove the second statement that ABCD is a rhombus. Right. Since from the first statement we have proved that this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle. All the four angles are equal. We have proved. Right. So, now if we consider the triangle ADC, right, for triangle ADC, what do we have? We have that the value of this angle is equal to this angle because we have proved it the first statement. So, you can write the angle DAC is equal to angle DCA. So, angle DAC is equal to angle BCA. And you know if any two uh, in a triangle if any two angles are equal then their opposite sides must be equal. Okay. So the opposite side of this angle is AD. Right. And the opposite side of angle DAC is DC. So you can write DC is equal to AD. Right. So if any two angles are equal their opposite side must be equal. Uh, it is I think theorem number 7.8 6. Okay. <clears throat> Next. If we consider, suppose this is our equation number 1. In the next, we have to consider the triangle BAC or ABC triangle. So, for triangle ABC, for triangle ABC, already we have this angle is equal to this angle. So, BAC is equal to BCA Right? Is equal to BCA. Similarly, same funda is applied here. Their opposite side must be equal. The opposite side of BAC is BC. And the opposite side of BCA, BCA is AB. So BC is equal to AB. BC is equal to AB. Let's say this is equation number 2. 
Okay, is it clear? Next, since we know ABCD is a what? ABCD is a parallelogram. It means the pair of opposite sides must be equal. So for parallelogram, for parallelogram, we know that AB is equal to BC because they are the pair of opposite side. Okay, we know AD is equal to BC. Yes or no? Yes, we know AD is equal to BC. Suppose this is our equation number 3. So, from equation 1 we have found that uh, DC, this side is equal to this side. In equation, yes, sir, DC is equal to AD. In equation 2 we have found BC, this side is equal to AB, this side. And in equation 3 we know that AD is equal to BC. So, let us analyze all the three equations. So, from equation 1, 2 and 3, what we have got? Let us find. So, we have find that BC is equal to AD. Yes. Now, in equation 3, we have found AD is equal to what? BC. And in equation 2, we have found BC is equal to AB. Okay. This is the last conclusion that we have get from all the three equations. So, we have found that DC is equal to AD, is equal to BC, is equal to AB. It means what? It means all the four sides of this parallelogram are of equal measures are of equal length. Hence, it will be a rhombus. Since all the four sides of this parallelogram are of equal length. Hence, you can write, hence, ABCD is a rhombus. Is a rhombus. And now it is proved. Okay. So you have to keep in mind that in case of a rhombus, the diagonals, okay, the diagonals are the angle bisect of the oppositely vertical angle. I have told you in the properties of a rhombus, okay. So this is done now. So students, let's move to the question number 7, okay. So in question number 7, we have to prove that if ABCD is a rhombus, then diagonal AC bisects both angle A and C and diagonal BD bisects both angle B and D. Okay. So, what is given here? It is given if ABCD is a rhombus. If A, B, C, D is a rhombus, then it has two diagonals AC and BD. Then, according to the question, we have to prove that the diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as bisect angle C. Similarly, the diagonal BD, right, BD, bisect angle B as well as angle B. We know this. We know this property. We already know that in case of a rhombus, the two diagonal bisect or uh, they are the angle bisector of their oppositely vertical angles. Yes or no? Yes. And we have to prove these two statements. Okay. So, let us prove it. So, let us prove it. So, since it is already given that ABCD is the rhombus, it means all the four sides are of equal length. So, you can write AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Clear? So, we have to prove what? Let us prove the first statement first, right? Diagonal AC, diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. Okay. So, in order to do this, we have to first construct the triangle AC. Okay. We have to construct only the triangle AC. Okay. So, let us erase the diagonal BD. Okay. So, <clears throat> construction. Construction, what we have constructed? We have constructed or we have joined join A and C. So, that a uh, diagonal AC is formed. Now, let us prove. Okay. Since we know it is a uh, rhombus, so all the four sides are of equal length. We know it. Now, let us consider the triangle ADC. So, for triangle ADC, in triangle ADC, 
this side ad is equal to this side dc ad is equal to dc that means it is a isosceles triangle so in this isosceles triangle this side is equal to this side it means their opposite angles must be equal we know if in a triangle any two sides are equal then their opposite angles must be equal okay so the opposite angle of ad side is this angle right dca so we can write angle dca is equal to opposite side opposite angle of side dc is this angle dac dac suppose this is our equation number 1 you can write the reason the reason is opposite angles okay next if we consider triangle abc right if we consider abc triangle then here also ab is equal to bc we know it ab is equal to bc so ab is equal to bc that means their opposite angles must be equal so opposite angle of ab side is this angle bca and opposite angle of dc side of this side dc dc is what is this angle bac angle bac okay so let's say this is equation number 2 clear next since it is given that abc is a uh, rhombus so the pair of opposite side must be parallel so if we consider ad and bc as two parallel lines okay and this is a transversal line okay ad and bc are two parallel lines and ac is a transversal line then we can say that this angle must be equal to this angle because they are alternate interior angles so dac angle and again and again we can write dac angle d a c angle is equal to this angle b c a angle b c a angle why because they are alternate interior understood let's say this is our equation number equation 1 this is equation 2 and now we have found equation 3 now we will analyze all the three equations okay so from equation 1 2 and 3 we have found that dca dca is equal to dac okay dca means dca this angle is equal to dac dac yes and in equation 3 we know dac is equal to bca so dac is equal to bca so you can write that uh, d a c this is equal to bca so this is equal to this in equation 2 we know bc is equal to bac so bca is equal to bac bac so this is equal to this is equal to this is equal to this that means all the four angles are now equal are now equal okay so we have found out it now from this we can write that the angle d c a this angle is equal to this angle yes or no yes we can extract it from the conclusion the d c angle is equal to b c angle it means d c a this is equal to b c a this so this two half this two angles are equal it means what it means a c bisect the angle c simple so it means it means ac bisects angle c understood similarly from the following conclusion can we extract the dac that dac this one is equal to bac yes because all the four angles are equal so dac is equal to bac dac this half is equal to bac this half this two angles are equal it means ac bisect the angle okay so it means ac bisects angle a 
Understood. So here we have found for a rhombus, one diagonal AC bisect the angle A as well as angle C. Now let us move to the another page where we have to prove that the diagonal BD, okay, also bisect angle B and angle D. Okay, so let's move. And now coming to the second part of this question that the diagonal BD bisect angle B and angle D. So for this we have to construct a diagonal BD. Okay. So construct, construct a diagonal BD and we have to prove that this diagonal BD bisect this angle B and this angle D. Okay. So let us prove. For this we have to take the triangle ABD, right? For triangle ABD. For triangle ABD. We have to follow the same procedure that we have followed here. Okay. So in triangle ABD, it is given AB is equal to AD. If any two sides are equal, then we know their opposite angles must be equal. So the opposite angle of angle, uh, the upside AB is this angle ADB. So we can write ADB angle is equal to opposite angle of side AD is this angle ABD. ABD. That's it. This is equation number one. Okay. Again, let us consider the triangle BCD here. So, for triangle BCD, it has also two sides equal. BC is equal to CD. So, here BC is equal to CD. So, their opposite angle must be equal. The opposite angle of BC is this BDC. You can say CDB, whatever you can write. Okay. So, uh, BDC is equal to this angle CDB. Okay. BDC is equal to CBD. Right? Let's say this is equation number 2. Understood? Next. Since it is a rhombus, so the pair of opposite sides are parallel. And if we consider AD and BC as two parallel lines, hmm, and this is a transversal line, then we know this angle must be equal to this angle. Why? Because they are alternate interior angles. So ADB, right? And again, ADB is equal to this angle, CBD. Why? Because they are alternate interior. This is equation number 3. This is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Now, after analyzing all the three equations from equation 1, 2 and 3, we get that ATB angle is equal to ABD angle. Yes or no? Yes. Again, in equation that is given that ADB, this one, is equal to CBD. Yes or no? Yes. So, you can write ADB is equal to CBD. And in equation 2 it is given CBD is equal to BDC. So, you can write CBD is equal to BDC. So, what we have concluded? We have concluded that all the four angles are now equal. ADB, ADB, this angle is equal to ABD, ABD, this angle is equal to CBD, this angle is equal to BDC. This angle. You understood now? So, all the four angles are now become equal. So, from this statement can we extract, can we extract ADB, this angle is equal to BDC, yes, because they are equal, so we can write ADB is equal to BDC, it means ADB, this angle is equal to BDC, this angle, so this half is equal to this half, it means what, it means the total angle is bisected by BD, okay, so the angle D is bisected by BD, so we can write it means BD, this diagonal bisects angle D. Yes or no? Yes. And from the same statement, we can extract ABD angle is equal to this angle CBD. ABD, ABD means this angle is equal to CBD, this angle. So these two halves are equal. It means 
the total angle b is bisected by the diagram b so you can write it means bd bisects angle b okay so what we have found what we have proved we have proved that diagonal bd bisect d as well as b and this is the proof for the second part diagonal bd bisect b and d both and now it is proved understood